Hi guys, welcome back to The Daily Vitamin. Today we are gonna be doing a whole juice blend off using these high powered, high speed Blendtec Vitamix blenders. We're gonna be testing for textures and taste and consistency to see which one of these blenders will provide for the best blend of whole food juice. And what's really great about doing a whole food juice in a blender is that you retain all of the nutrients and antioxidants and mm -hmm. Yeah. just nutrition benefits that would otherwise be lost in a traditional juicer because you get to keep all of the pulp in your juice, which is really nice when using a blender. Yeah, yeah. In a juicer, you lose about 70% of the nutrients, antioxidants, minerals, and vitamins. Um, it all gets extracted, and most of the time just sets them in the garbage. Uh, with the blenders, you get 100% of all the fiber, so that's a big uh, perk to the to the blending. And with these high-powered blenders, you could just throw in all your whole foods. You don't have to chop stuff up into little pieces. You could just throw in whole carrots, you know, your nuts, your flax seeds, your you know grapes, with, you know red grapes and black grapes with the seeds still in them, and you get all the 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 pro you know the protein and the and the fiber from all the nutrients in these fruits and vegetables. All right, guys, I'm really excited for this whole juice blend off. Let's get started. Red grapes have heart healthy antioxidants, and if you start your smoothie with enough grapes, you won't need liquid. Leave on the green leafy part of the strawberry. It contains chlorophyll, which gives an overall boost to your immune system. The core of the pineapple contains a lot of bromelain, which is known to reduce swelling and all types of inflammation. Seeds have pound for pound more protein than a steak and are very nutritious. You can quickly liquefy your seeds in one of these blenders. When peeling an orange, leave as much of the nutritious outer white pith as possible. It has just as much vitamin C as the rest of the orange. Red cabbage has cancer-preventing antioxidants and is rated the number one food for fighting and preventing ulcers. Add in whole carrots to get more fiber into your body. Turn any smoothie into a green smoothie simply by adding in a leafy green vegetable. Quickly and easily liquefy flax seeds and chia seeds into your smoothie to give yourself more health benefits. High-powered blenders allow you to liquefy nuts into your smoothies, giving you additional health benefits. When all the ingredients are added in, secure the lid. A properly balanced green smoothie should have 60% fruits and 40% vegetables. Don't add too many greens or it won't taste good. Green juices and green smoothies help you lose weight, lower cholesterol, clear up the skin, and give you natural energy. So now we're going to do a texture test and we're going to show you the difference in color and texture. So as you can see, there is a difference in color and texture between all of the blender jars. Yeah, that's right. And also you can see that there's a difference in thickness. So the texture is different than the, from the wild side jar and then the low pro jar, even though they're the exact same color, the wild side jar, tech, the texture of the wild side jar looks a little bit thicker than the, than the low pro jar produced. Um, and, the, the, and I would say that the G series has produced more of a smoother texture. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Than this it, it could be the, the blade design between the jars. We've talked about that before, but the Vitamix blenders have sharp stainless steel laser cut blades and the Blendtec jars have stainless steel dull blades. So the blades on the Blendtecs are a little bit thicker so they could break down the nutrients a little bit uh, differently. But all, you know, all in all, all the nutrients got broken down, you know, looks pretty, pretty well between all the, uh, the jars and the, the blenders. 
So that's a good note. Um, I guess the main thing is the taste. How, how did the, the difference in taste between all these? I'm excited to find out. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's give it a shot. Let's start with the S50 over there. Let's give all that right. a shot. And pass it over here. It's a little difficult to get out of the jar. It's very, it's pretty thick, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good though. Let's try this one. Mm -hmm. mm. So far, this one tastes better to me. Yeah, this one tastes better and it's also smoother, uh, easier to drink. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit more liquefied. Mm -hmm. Really good smoothie. So the C-Series is in the lead. Mm -hmm. It tastes very much identical to the C-Series. I'd say the C-Series tastes a little bit better than, uh, than this one. Really? Mm -hmm. I would say that the texture is C very similar. Very similar texture, but the C-Series, I think, so far is in the lead for the, the winner of the blend-off. Here you go. There's a wild side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. C series is still the winner. Mm -hmm. uh, that's I'd very. Say. Fro that's like frothy. It tastes a little foamy. Mm -hmm. Still tastes great. You know, it's not a bad yeah. taste. It's just the different. So far, the C series is the best. Yeah, this tastes a lot more liquefied. A little bit. Here we go. Last one is the classic series, five seventy five. Mm. So that's nice. I guess what we found out was that the standard jars produced, maybe the way they're designed, um, broke down the nutrients a little bit differently. And I think taste the taste is actually a little bit better with both of the Vitamix and the Blendtec standard jars. Mm -hmm. I'd would, I would say the C series is the best taste, then the classic series is the second, but it's pretty much equal. Yeah, and, and then their textures are very similar. The as textures well. are also similar. The colors are similar. The way they broke down the nutrients seems very similar as well as the wild side jar and the low pro jar, it's, it must be something with the design, um, but the taste is slightly different between the standard jars and yeah. the, the these jars. The taste is a little bit and better in that one. The taste of this didn't taste anything to me like the taste of the other four. Yeah, the S50 was totally different than, than these four. Mm -hmm. um, it was thicker. I, I thought the taste wasn't as good as the C-Series and the standard. I think these two are the winners. Um, we'll just give these a tie. I think yeah. the C-Series and the Blendtec Classic are, are tied for mm -hmm. the taste test. Um, who would you say is the runner-up? The runner-up would be uh, the low-profile jar, I think. Mm -hmm. This would be third place. Yeah. And from what I can see, this actually looks to be the most smooth texture of yeah. all of the blends um, from the eye. Yeah. But in terms of taste, this definitely tasted the yeah. smoothest of them I mean, of this all. one here, let's make sure. I mean, that's so smooth, and the, the C-Series just, it's so smooth. Mm -hmm. And then look at this one. Yeah, this I is... I mean, it's, it's, the taste is actually a little bit better out of the C-Series. Let me, let me it is. That. Here, and, here you go. And I would say that the reason for that is, is because that appears and tastes to be a yep. little bit more... Slightly better. ...liquefied and just blended it together. It could be, you know, the sharp blade design versus the dull blades. You know, that could be a reason for it. But, uh, you know, because you're, you're drinking these, when you're drinking these smoothies every day, obviously you want to get, the, you know, the best one for you that has the best taste. Because, you know, if you want to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and get in your system, you want them to taste good. So, you know, that's important. But mm -hmm. all the blenders overall had a good taste to them. But this one, the C-Series, uh, I guess, is, you know, from what we just tasted is the winner of yeah. the taste test. I would say that, and I would say that... The winner of the blend off now is a little different. So that one won the taste, but it didn't break down the nutrients uh, as easily. These two jars had no problem going through all the you know nutrients and the you know the the whole foods so easily. So this one's they're easier to blend in these jars, and they but the overall texture is pretty much equal. Um, this the wild side produced a little bit thicker of a texture. Uh, the C series and the classic produced a smooth texture and tasted the best. But these broke down the whole foods the easiest. Yeah, and I would also point out that we did use a tamper for this one, which could have helped in the process of just getting it a little bit more liquefied.
because I was pushing the product from the outside of the jar down into the blade. Yeah, it could be. Um, the tampers, uh, a lot of people use the tamper, you know, when you get an air pocket or something like that, you know, you could easily push the ingredients into the blade while the blade's running. So it's nice to have a tamper um, instead of having to stop the blender um, and shake it out or something. Which we had to do with this blender. The blend standard type. one. Yeah. Um, the standard two-quart jar. Um, but overall, the standard two-quart jar was able to liquefy everything. We just had to shake it out once and it was fine. Mm -hmm. um, but the overall taste test, C-Series is the winner. And yep. then for breaking down the Whole Foods with no problem, these two are tied. Um, so it's a tough decision on who won the blend off. I would say the C-Series. Yeah, I'd go C-Series won the blend off here. To me, yeah, the C-Series. So that's all we got for you. Uh, if you guys are interested in these blenders, um, you can check out thedailyvitamin.com. That we, uh, you know, there's a payment plan that you can get with each one of these. If you, I know we know it's a large sum of money if you want to buy one of these, but they, each, each company, Vitamix and Blendtec, offers a payment plan where you could purchase it in three, six, five, or twelve month increments um, on your credit card. So, so to, awesome! To read more about your payment, the plan panel, payment plan option, check out the Daily Vitamin. And, and for a limited time, you guys could buy one of these blenders refurbished, which is a really great idea. Yeah. And it would save you a little over $100. Yeah, each blender model that you see here comes refurbished, where you could buy it, and you get the same blender, it's just basically somebody bought it and opened up the box and maybe used it once, and then they returned it. So it's just refurbished, and Vitamix and Blendtec both make sure everything's fixed on the blenders. And it comes with five to seven year warranty. Yeah, refurbished blenders come with about a seven year warranty, um, five or seven year warranty, so it's the same as buying it new. Um, also, if you buy it through thedailyvitamin.com, we'll give you bonus rewards. So make sure to use our free shipping links at the Daily Vitamin website, and we'll give you guys bonus rewards for purchasing it through us. Woohoo! And if you haven't followed us yet, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And we thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye!